Hey guys, Chris Mongo from Construction Cronies here. I just wanted to take this opportunity to teach you guys a very quick lesson on proper returns. When we're drywalling, some walls you need to cap, right? So this is like returns. This is what's called returns. Caps like this, right? Up top here for corner beat. Uh, most closets have returns like so. Windows uh, in commercial, a lot of them, a lot of them will have returns. You can see this one here is actual window frame, so not in this case. But uh, if you want to see my video on commercial returns, I'll link that right here for you. The uh, first thing to learn about proper returns is when you're drywalling, you don't want the uh, drywall to come past the, the framing. See, like here. I'm gonna end up trimming this back before I put the actual return on. So you wanna stop it, uh, you know, like a quarter bead is, is best when you leave a quarter inch on either side uh, for, the, for the mud, uh, the bead to go on properly, right? So I'm gonna trim this right now with the router, and then we're gonna measure the distance. Whatever that distance is, we're gonna take a half inch off of it. So we have leave a quarter inch on either side for the corner bead, okay? really want to be nice to the taper then also rasp off these uh, these barnacles you see all you have to do is lightly go over them with your rasp and they'll come right off Now we're gonna measure. So we have four and three quarter, right? Um, yeah, four and a big three quarters, like four and seven eighths. We're gonna go four and a big quarter for our strips. So I'll go cut them. We'll put the, the top piece in first and then hold it up with the side. So I'm gonna go cut a couple strips and I'll be right back. So when you're cutting returns, you don't want a bevel on it on a return. Uh, never have a bevel on returns. So you cut off three inches uh, first, and then do your four-inch strips in the middle. Okay. So always cut the bevel off. Don't use bevels edges on returns. Make sure you cut the like three to four inches off the sheet when you're doing strips. But don't snap it until your strips are cut. Otherwise, you're gonna have a rough edge to run your tape on, and it won't might not be straight. Another important trick uh, when you're doing returns or really any cutting anything out of drywall. When you snap the board, <clears throat> before you break it off, rasp the two edges together because between the two, you'll get the best line. <clears throat> one is just throwing it away like uh, we're just throwing it away so we can push it off uh, 
Now the second one, and it's almost good too because you're rasping two edges that you're using at the same time. This time, just cut it back, okay? Don't have any paper uh, paper interfering with your uh, edges. Rasp all your ends if you didn't know that. Like uh, when you cut strips, beautiful, right? Make sure now. Remember when we uh, we cut them a quarter inch short, so we we can stagger them like that on either side a quarter inch. That's for the mud in the corner bead, so that it'll won't be pushed out. And it'll go on nice and easy for the taper. And we're done. Depending on how big of a return it is, one screw in the middle is usually good. As you can see we left a nice edge for the taper. It's all cleaned up. And it's beautiful. <laughs> and that's it guys. And if, so if you want to learn more about drywalling and steel stud, then consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, I upload regularly and soon I'll be back to live streaming. So you guys want to be subscribed for that. YouTube thinks you might like this video right here, so give it a watch, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.